Hey guys, welcome to our channel Supra Free, where we discuss everything about supramolecular chemistry. In the previous video, we discussed pathway complexity and living supramolecular polymerization. Herein, we shall discuss the transient supramolecular polymerization. Nature extensively exploits non-equilibrium transient self-assembly to perform work through a dissipative process. The self-assembly relies on the use of molecules as fuel that is consumed to drive thermodynamically unfavorable reactions away from equilibrium. This provides a spatiotemporal control over functions such as cell motion and division. One such example is actin filaments that consume ATP to drive its self-assembly out of equilibrium for cell motility. Recently, an interest to implement non-equilibrium self-assembly process in synthetic systems has aroused to obtain temporally controlled supramolecular polymers. Thus, supramolecular chemistry is undergoing a paradigm shift from passive self-assembly to active self-assembly with spatial and temporal control. The field of transient supramolecular polymerization deals with control over rate of formation, decay, and lifetime of transient state. Based on the system, there can be different kinds of dissipative self-assembly. Let's discuss the three. First, self-assembly under dissipative conditions. A self-assembly process associated to chemical fuel to waste conversion that does not involve the building blocks. The reaction cycle involves an activation step where a fuel such as ATP is injected into the system that converts monomer to self-assembling monomers. And this self-assembly, in presence of an external deactivating agent, which can be an enzyme, results in deactivating reactions where the fuel is consumed, that is, chemical fuel to waste conversion occurs, resulting in disassembly process. For instance, ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP. Second is dissipative self-assembly. A self-assembly process associated to chemical fuel to waste conversion that is mediated by the building blocks. In this case, as well, the fuel activates the monomer to undergo assembly. However, the monomers in self-assembly are directly involved in the deactivation step such as redox. Third is driven self-assembly, a dissipative self-assembly process leading to energy storage in a high energy aggregate as a consequence of kinetic asymmetry in energy consumption. Thus, there is an energy storage state before the system disassembles. Herein, there is a kinetic trapping of high energy state due to low dynamics of the system. The aim of transient supramolecular polymerization is to have a complete temporal control over self-assembly process, which is defined by the activating and deactivating reactions. The increase in fuel concentration results in increase in lifetime of transient state, increase in extent of formation of transient state and increase in rate of formation of transient state. Whereas, increase in deactivating agent concentration results in decrease in lifetime of transient state, decrease in extent of formation of transient state and in increase in the rate of deactivation of transient state. This approach is inspired from natural systems such as actin filaments which uses chemical fuels for their spatiotemporal polymerization. This field aims to create programmable active materials with lifelike unprecedented properties for their implications in interdisciplinary sciences. In our upcoming video, we shall be discussing the characterization of supramolecular polymers and polymerization. So keep watching, subscribe if you haven't done so far.